I want to do a, a little video here to help clarify some things, some mistakes that I'm seeing. I was just working through your uh, last test, marking the last test, uh, had a question about working with props and state in a React component. And quite a few people got it wrong and I wanted to make sure that you understood how this worked. And so what I, what I did was I modeled a really simple version of it. Um, I'm only going to focus on the state and props aspect of this, and I'm not worrying about the event handlers and how it's a controlled component and so on. So here's what we have. We've got an app and this app is going to, it's going to include an email component. And so the email component is here and I'll jump back and forth between the two of these. I'll post this code up when I'm done. So what should we note? So first of all, in our constructor, you can see that we are defining a little bit of state. Now, this is super basic. Obviously, this could happen as a result of logging into an application and the state gets set somehow in the application once the user logs in. But let's assume that somehow up in the top of the component tree, we have the user's name and the user's uh, email address. And so now what we wanna do is we want to have our application render um, our email component. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're gonna render the email component here and we're gonna pass in the email address as a prop. So I have state on the app, the state is, well, one of the aspects of the state is the email address. I wanna pass that down as the author prop on this email component. Okay, so now you go over to the email component and what do we have here? Well, the very first thing we have here is we are receiving props from above. So in React, you want data to flow downward through your app. So you're gonna have any kind of state that's gonna be shared through a bunch of different components. So some, think about something like the user's name or an email address or something like that. That might be used in five or six different places throughout the app. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna move that state up in the component tree until it's high enough that you can pass it down to all of the different components that need to use it. So if we're gonna receive that, if we're gonna receive that value, we have to receive it on props. So here I'm gonna get the props and I'm gonna call the constructor and I'm gonna pass the props into the React component uh, constructor here. And so now those props are available to me when I wanna use them later. So then down here, I'm gonna also keep track of some state. So each email address is gonna have some of its own state that is unique to this email address. So what is the subject of this email? What is the message of this email? And let's say we're gonna render this out as a form. And so we have a bunch of different components that we wanna put here. So we might wanna put, who is this, who is this from? So we might want to say, okay, well, this is an email address. We're going to put it in, a, in a, an input control of type email, and we're going to specify the name as author. But then we're going to do this, this.props.author. So because we, because we are receiving props, and we've, we've done this in the constructor, we have access to those props here. So we can say this.props.author. However, with the subject and the message, I'm going to, do, I'm going to get it out of state because it is specific to this instance of the email component. Whereas the author is some shared piece of data that comes from above. Mm -hmm. So what I saw a bunch of people do is they would say um, author and they would put in something like that. So they would try and put the, put the data in themselves. They weren't sure what to put in, so they would just put it in the state and then down here, they would change this to state.author. Or other people, what they did was they would say uh, props dot, if I say props dot author. Okay, so here's another common anti-pattern. You wanna be really careful with this. So in this case, I'm mixing the props and the state. And what I'm doing is the when this component is created, so in the constructor, I'm gonna receive the props from the parent component. I take that value and I put it in the state of this component. And the problem that I have now is that if the parent component above me, if it changes the value of whatever I'm pulling out of the props, 
I am going to be left holding an old value. So I'm going to get out of sync with what's up above. So in our example here, this isn't changing, right? Unless this were to change. But imagine somebody logs in, they log out, or imagine it's not a name. Imagine it's something that's going to change all the time. Some piece of data that's constantly um, going to get updated. Every time this gets changed here, what it's going to do is it's going to, it's going to force your component to re-render because we're using, if I'm using the props here, it's gonna make sure that any changes above me are gonna be properly synchronized down this way. So if I do this, it's gonna cause a problem because when the parent changes, I'm not gonna have any new data. So you definitely don't wanna do this. There are some instances where you can do this, where you can take in a prop from the parent, you can store it in state, and then you can use it. But you have to write a bunch of other machinery to make this work. And React used to, used to have a it used to have a, um, a lifecycle hook called component will update where you could receive the, um, the props that, you're, that are about to be changed. So anytime the props are gonna get changed, you could receive them and you could make a decision that you're gonna use them. But as you can see, they, they don't want you to use it. So they've put this behind an unsafe, um, they've renamed it essentially to make it harder so that you know, you, you'll think about it before you use it. And they're gonna try and pull this out in future versions of the component. So, so this is really, this is not something you generally want to do. If it's, if it's props, use it on props. Like if it's coming from above, use it from props. And so props are always something that you receive from a parent component somewhere up higher in the tree. If it's specific to this component and it's not getting reused by other parts of your app, then you're gonna do it on state, and then it's reasonable to say that you wanna do it on state here. Anyway, I just wanted to mention that because I saw enough people get it wrong that I wanted to, I don't know, if, if you were confused about that, this is a really important concept, especially in React, where the way that data passing works down the component tree is, is pretty critical to the way we'll do it. Anyway, I'll post this code and you can take a look, and if you have any other questions, let me know.